Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this week you're getting a twofer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you might have missed it. Uh, check out moving a piano with a Kubota BX. Did it work? <laughs> I hope you enjoy that video. That was kind of fun. Anyway, uh, this video is going to be about building a $54 tractor cab. Now, I went on Amazon, and actually, this is the way this all started. I'm on a Kubota BX owner's Facebook group, and somebody had posted they built a makeshift frame and they wrapped it with plastic wrap, cellophane, shrink wrap. I mean, that's Red Deck Engineering at your finest. You know what I mean? That, that <laughs> unbelievable. So uh, I didn't really want to do that, but I also don't want to spend $7,000 on a, a Curtis cab yet. Um, anyway. So somebody else posted what they had done. They built like a wooden frame and they put a golf cart cover, which is a plastic cover with some uh, material, waterproof material. And I thought that I could do 54 bucks. Yeah, I have to start with, and I'm going to put it on right now and I'll show you. So I have this sunshade already that my wife bought for me. It's a cloth sunshade. It's pretty durable. And it's very simple. You guys know I like stuff that is simple and uh, easy to work with. Well, this hooks on with just some aluminum pipe. Looks like, almost like uh, conduit. And uh, just stretches out over top of the tractor. Like I say, easy on, easy off, simple. And I like it. So, I'm going to start with that. Okay, so there it is. That's a picture of it. And this is just a plastic cover for a golf cart. Now, the thought about this is, you know, I'm not looking for airtight and trying to make this cab. You know, there's not going to be a heater in or anything. Just keep the wind off my face. Oh, it comes in a nice... <laughs> this is nice because, you know what? I'm going to put this away in the summertime. And uh, I want it to be able to just come off and store away very easily. So that... I like good cases. So anyway, it's got a case. And you pop it open. Now I say the first thing we're going to do is just drape it over that sunshade. And just see. See how it fits. Just open it here on the hood. I'm a little bit concerned about visibility with this crinkly plastic. But we're going to find out together. Right? Okay, what's the front and what's the back? Okay, that's obviously the front. So it goes like this. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can get it over the top of this thing. This is definitely first time doing this, so forgive me if it's awkward. Get some things out of the way here a little bit. All right, I see where we're going here. I'm guessing it's going to be a... Actually, hmm. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit big. If you center it up like that, that's not too bad. Huh. So, what do we got over here? Oh, that's hooked. Okay, that helps. Now this is, I had thought about this ahead of time. What I think is going to be 
a big help is if I can make some kind of a window frame that will somehow go up and around here in a rectangle. And I was thinking PVC pipe, because I've got some already. <laughs> I'm trying to make this cheap. PVC pipe might work. Let's see how this zipper works. So that unzips like, oh, look at that. It opens completely. Oh, look at the hooks. Huh. That's pretty cool there. I mean, it's not tight yet, but I mean, there's going to be some adjustment. Yeah. So imagine if there's a PVC pipe frame going through here and across there and down. That's going to help hold that. And this is going to smooth out some over time. Really is going to depend. Well, let's see what it looks like, how, how well I can see. Okay. Well, let me tell you one thing. The view isn't that bad. And I'll tell you what, even as it is right now, okay, just like this, it's going to be a whole lot better than the wind blowing in my face. I mean, yeah, it's going to sit back here. You can see the wrinkles, but like I said, I think those are going to work out. They'll probably smooth out over time. All right, so it's actually the next day. Um, this took a lot of figuring, um, and it's not just building a rectangle out of PVC pipe. There's some qualifications. I didn't want to modify the tractor in any way, and I don't want to drill any holes, and it has to be easy to take on, off and put back on, easy to put on, easy to take off. Um, so, came up with some ideas. So the frame, the window frame, is gonna to connect to this pipe here. I'm going to simply zip tie two pipes to extend this out. Now, uh, I was looking up the dimensions of a golf cart window and um, the dimensions for the cab cover. Um, it'll do up to a 54 inch top by 41 inches wide, I think. And a golf cart windshield is about 40, 41 inches wide. So that's why I'll do up that, that up to that high. I don't necessarily want to go full 40 inches. Now this is 32 inches wide and about four feet deep. So I can go another 10 inches forward. And I do think I want to bring the windshield forward a little bit so that is why this strap to here, and it actually can be adjusted in and out. So that's kind of nice. I'm gonna zip tie it like that, and it'll bring this forward just a little bit. Now, I said this is 36 inches wide, so how do I get it to 40 inches wide? I probably wanna go about 38 inches. I'm going to, my bag of uh, connectors, I'm gonna use a T connector here on the end of each of these supports. Okay. And that's going to allow me to go a little bit wider and then do my 90 degree angle and come down. And then there'll be a piece in between an identical piece to this on the other side. And the same thing, go into this T and then a little bit, and then the 90 going down, of course, at the bottom, will just be two nineties with an identical width across the bottom. Now it'll rest right on the hood here, right where the seam is, but rubbing and stuff could mar this. So I'm just gonna get a piece of um, pipe insulation just to create a pad so that I can rest there. All right, so I got two of these made, a little T on the end. I'm just gonna go the equal length of where this lines up with the aluminum pipe. And uh, I'm gonna use some pretty substantial zip ties. Decent ones anyway. They're a little long, but oh, go the other way. And uh, go ahead and tighten these down, I think, because I'm going to be able to slide that any way you look at it. So I line that up. And I'm going to use, just to start, I'm going to use two. If I need to add another one, if it slides or slips or something, obviously I can do that. I do love zip ties. 
Now that might be an issue. It might want to fall down this way. You know what? I think I will mount it underneath. Then it'll hit that. It'll stop it from going back. So you discover things as you build. I love it. All right. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to do the other side. Okay. Now I got the other piece zip tied in place, hanging underneath there like that. It comes back and it hits that to stop. And this is, from what I could tell, a 30 inch piece. Go in between here like that. That's wonderful. That's already pretty sturdy. Hmm, not bad. Okay, now I need to figure out how much I need to come out to make this elbow and make it 40 inches or actually somewhere around there, probably more like 38 inches. I got a little leeway there. Anyway, that's the next part. Okay, so now I've cut two three inch pieces. They each go in a half an inch on either side. With the right angles on. Like that. That should be close to 40 inches. Out to out. It's 40 and three quarters. I think that's going to be okay because the maximum for the golf cart said 41 inches. So this will be a full size windshield. If it's, if it doesn't work, you know, I can always go back in and trim a little bit off of this. I'm not gluing this together not unless I have to. So, all right, let's make the frame. So another important measurement, I took those elbows off. I need to know this right here, which is 38 and a quarter. So that tells me the length of the bottom of the uh, frame, 38 and a quarter. So now I have the bottom of the windshield, which like I said, is going to go right across here and I'm going to put that piece of pipe insulation on there. So it'll be nice and cushy for it to rest on. I need this dimension. Is that going to sit there? From here to here. That's the best way to measure that. Okay, so this has some play up and down. As a matter of fact, this whole thing tilts. So I'm not, I mean, I can, I can mess this up a little bit and it'll be fine. But it looks to me like a piece, you go a half inch into the elbow, a half inch into that elbow. Um, I think 38 inches. I'm going a little heavy because I can always cut more off. Okay, so now I've got two 38 inch pieces. Put that into there, and that into there. It's going to rest right about there. Huh. So there it is. A windshield frame. I kind of like it. So the last thing I did for all this material in the back, because this is made to cover up your golf clubs, I just took it all up over top of the slow moving vehicle reflector and tucked it behind the lights. And I ended up hooking these back over through the handles and to the back to these light brackets. It stretches it better and holds it tighter. So that's all out of the way. I'm not gonna get in the way of the three point hitch. I'm not gonna drag on the wheels. You can see out the back, but you do lose visibility. You can't turn around and see through here, obviously. That is the only issue I've found, is your visibility to the ground when backing up. Not that you can't see, and I probably 
we'll uh, fix that problem by putting mirrors on the side. So the only other idea I had is this is loose up here. Uh, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it, it holds pretty well. But in a set of bungees, I got these little clips that clip onto fabric. And then you can hook your bungee through the hole. So I'm going to put at least two of them, one on either side, probably close to the hood. So this stretches down. So you just take this little sucker, stick it up over the fabric. Like that. Then you clamp this down all the way. I would get it, you know what? Probably best to have it right next to the edge of the, yeah, that holds well. I'll do the same thing on the other side. And so the very last step that uh, the instructions actually recommend if you want to get all these wrinkles out, uh, they say to use a hair dryer on low. So I borrowed my wife's hair dryer and uh, let's see if we can smooth it out. I managed to do a little bit. I think it's just going to be time um, and proper storage. I'm going to have to think about uh, how I want to store this. That's the best way to keep it from having all these wrinkles, but it's still pretty good and visible from the inside. As a matter of fact, let's go inside. I'll show you what it's like. So oh, it's very easy to get in and out. This, uh, Zippered door opens plenty. And this is quite nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased. This is, this is quite nice. I mean, it's going to keep the snow from blowing on my face. It'll keep rain off me. I never used a tractor in the rain. I haven't anyway. Maybe it's because I didn't have a cab. This, uh, for $54. Let me tell you, $54. And I did not alter the tractor any. I did not alter the canopy or the, you know, the golf cart cover. I didn't alter that. I didn't have to cut holes in it or anything like that. Um, all I did was build this PVC window frame that I showed you and added it to my existing sunshade and it works great. I, uh, I don't know. I can't wait to use it. I really don't want any more snow, <laughs> but if it does snow, we're going to, we're going to try it. So it's raining right now. Maybe I'll use it on the way back to the shed. The worst part about it is my garage door is not high enough to drive this tractor out with the ROPS up. So I have to take all of this off, <laughs> drive it out, and then put it all back on. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, that's great. I, I'm, I'm pleased with the way this worked out. So uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Leave it in the comments. Would you do this for your tractor? I don't think it looks too bad. Um, it'd be nicer if it were black instead of this tan color or orange. Um, but still, form follows function. And this, I think, is going to function just fine. So catch you next time when I'm doing more stuff.